in the car. Stay in the car. Okay, just stay in the car. Brett. Diabolo. Okay, what's he saying? Diabolo, please. Devil. I've never seen anything like this. Multiple attacks without eating its prey. Lions don't do that. At least no lion I've ever seen. Go back to the calls. Dad, go back, please! I'm just curious about, like, the types of movies that you love to watch, because for me, this is it. Like, covering my eyes, screaming at your characters, telling you not to do certain things, even though you can't hear me. Yeah. Like, like, Beast is legitimately it. What about you? Yeah, no, I'm with that. I'm about the experience. Take me away from where I'm sitting right now. Let me get immersed in it. And that's what Beast is. Uh, it's a thriller, and you know there's a story in it that you you want to these people to win to survive. Yeah, but then for some reason you had me feeling for the lion, and I, and, and towards the end, and I didn't think I would do that. I didn't think I would do it. So well, you job know well what? done. I'm glad that you said that because you know one of the things in the script I was really keen to make sure we don't is villainize the lion. I know it's called Beast, but there's a reason why he's doing this. We're in his territory now. It's the law of the jungle. It's the only law that matters. When I was watching this movie, like on the surface, I saw this as a man who would do anything for his daughters. How much of what you do is for your family? Uh, you know, it, when you're growing up, uh, everything's for you. You know, I want to be this, I want to be that. And then you get to a place where you have children and you realize everything you're doing now is just to lay some foundation for them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really want my children to look back and be like, oh, my dad worked hard, or he tried to do this, and he did this, so therefore I can. Do they know, like, how cool you are? <laughs> they don't read the press. They just know dad for dad, you know what I mean? Like, especially my young one. He's just like, my dad, man. Why do these guys come up to you all the time? Oh, uh, because I'm in the public eye. Public eye, what's that? <laughs> hey, look out the window. Welcome to Mapani, guys. One thing I noticed right off the beginning was when your character, when he first, you know, like stepped off, uh, stepped out of the car, it, and he took in his surroundings in South Africa, there was something where he seemed so at peace. I'm curious for you, like, where is that place for you where you feel most at home? That isn't your actual home. Two places: Jamaica, because I love Jamaica, and Africa. I've been to Africa, many parts of Africa. Whenever I go home. Uh, I just feel a real sense of belonging, 100%. That sounds awesome. I'm gonna look into the camera and say, would you cast him as Bond already? It's ridiculous at this point. <laughs>